Hey guys, how's it going? We're going to be doing something a little different today. Instead of an actual recipe, I'm going to be putting a SCN TV cooking gadget to the test. Today, we're rolling with the rolly. This show is one part nerd, one part cooking. It's my journey to combine my culinary background with games, comics, pop culture, and more. My name is Spencer, and this is Geek vs. Food. Now, if you've spent any amount of time on the food or gadget side of YouTube, you've probably seen this before. It's a cylindrical grill-type device that makes very, well, phallic-shaped egg dishes. Now, I got this one at Goodwill, so it didn't come with the recipe book or any of the tools, but I were able to find those online, and I wanted to put a couple of those to the test. First off is just the generic egg rolly. We're going to want to start by using a little bit of nonstick spray on it, as you would for any of the recipes to follow. Let's go ahead and lube it up. Now we gotta do is crack one, two eggs into the chamber. Isn't that a lovely sound? Alright, and at no time at all, we'll have a lovely snack. It's finally rising! There it comes, there it comes! Right in there is an egg rolly. All right, so let's give it a taste test. Gonna give it a little bit of salt, some pepper, and let's see what it tastes like. Very interesting texture. It tastes like a like a hard boiled egg. The yolk is kind of firm and whites are just this custardy kind of softness. Ha! Ha! Yeah, it, it's an egg. What more do you want? All right. Next up is the Rolly Egg Cracker. I found this one a little. Interesting, so it's one I definitely wanted to try out. All right, so here I have five crushed up round butter crackers. I'll add that to a bowl. To that, we're going to add about maybe I don't know a tablespoon or two of some cheese. One egg. Go ahead and beat that up and mix it until it's a nice paste. Alright, now we're just gonna add a little bit of, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Let it mix real quick. Alright. Lube up the rolly. Fill her up. Now normally, the rolly's supposed to come with a tamper, but since I got this from Goodwill, didn't come with that. But what I do have is a cocktail muffler, which should work good enough. Just make sure everything's pressed down in there nice and good. 
And now we wait. All right, it's rising yet again. Time for the rolly cam. Look at that. I mean, look at it. Alrighty. Doesn't look like this one's gonna come all the way out, so let's see. Come. Alright. Now I'm curious what this is gonna be like. I don't know if it's an omelet or they call it a cracker, but I'm assuming that's because there's crackers in it, but you know it seems more like a, a batter or dough than any kind of egg thing, so let's see. Stringy, melted cheese. You know, that's not bad. It just tastes like an omelet. I don't really get any of the uh, Ritz crackers, I mean, round butter crackers in it, but I mean, it's it's a cheesy omelet. Not half bad. All right, it's next morning, as you can tell by the outfit change, and now we're gonna be making the French toast rolly. So in a bowl, I have two pieces of white bread just cubed up, torn apart, and you know, no, pres no precision needed there. Small bowl, we're gonna add one egg. Don't do that. Quickly keep the egg. Alright. To the egg, we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract, just a maybe like a teaspoon or so. Cinnamon. Some sugar. And a splash of milk. Combine. Pour that right over the bread and just let it soak on in. Turn around until it's nice and incorporated. Again, loop up the rolly. And fill her up. Alright, looks like it's starting to rise out of there too. Let's get the rolly cam rolling again. sad here, but, you know, it could be good. Not very, not very solid. Come on. This is why you use nonstick spray, folks. There we go. And, there we have the French Toast Rolly.
Yeah, it tastes like French toast. It's certainly not the prettiest looking thing, but I mean, it tastes all right. You know, I probably you know spice it up a little bit myself, maybe a little more vanilla extract, some other spices, but I'm just you know following their recipes and. Hey, it's, it's alright. Alright, for a change of pace, the rolly can apparently do more than just breakfast. So next up we're going to make a pizza rolly. I'm going to start with some canned biscuit dough here. Alright, I got it open. So next thing we're going to want to do is take two pieces. This biscuit dough. Refrigerate the rest for later. You want to press it out into a rough circle. Have a rolling pin that can help you. Make sure to drop some on your floor. Pizza sauce. A couple pieces of pepperoni. Last but least, it's a mozzarella cheese. Gonna take the dough, so rolling it up, get it as tight as possible. Very messy. Alright, I'm gonna want to take one end and pinch it closed. And that's the end that's gonna go bottom side down into it. This is not fucking working, oh my god. Alright, this is a hot mess, but let's see how it goes. Gotta make sure to lube it up first. This goes. It's not really even fitting. Of course. Come on. God damn it. Uh, I haven't practiced with this at all before filming it, so this is all. Live reactions to this. God damn it. Okay, I totally fucked up here. Let's see if that will go in. There we go. I'm gonna wash my hands and clean up a bit. Alright, so it popped out while I was cleaning, so let's see this. Smells pretty good. Doesn't look the most appetizing, but none of them have so far. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, the dough is still completely raw. Oh. 
Okay. I'm gonna try this one again from scratch. Okay, let's try this again. Do, flatten it out, crack it out. Make it a lot thinner than I did before. Almost into it. Alright, pizza sauce. And of course I had my spoon over there. Ronnie's in there. The mozzarella cheese. This one's going a little bit better, except it fucking tore. Closely, wouldn't it? Alright, it's not supposed to rise up because it needs to cook a bit more. So hopefully this time it'll work a lot better. Alright, fingers crossed. Alright, clean up again. Alright, it's been about six minutes, so hopefully it's cooked this time. It's looking a lot better. Let's see here. It smells actually cooked this time. Alright, pizza broly. Let's give it a shot. Ends are really raw, so I'm gonna cut those off and go for where the inner piece is. Good stretch, good melt, so melt. All You know, truth be told, I'm not the biggest fan of pizza in general, but, you know, it's not half bad. It reminds me of those pizza rolls Mom used to make when you were a kid playing video games, you know? Yeah, it's... Crust is nice and flaky, cheese is melted, pepperoni's nice and hot. It's, it's a pizza roll in a, in a tube. Alright guys, well, that's it for today. Uh, let me know what you thought about this, kind of doing a unscripted, unrehearsed video. I know I kind of fucked up on a couple of the things, didn't always work out, but that's part of the fun, I think. If you'd like to see more of these, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you have any recommendations on gadgets like this you want me to test, let me know as well. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.